There's no doubt that many people would agree that the majority of artwork found in museums and private collections around the world are priceless. Being one of a kind, it makes it difficult to put a price on many works. However, almost on a daily basis, art is sold and bought, oftentimes bringing hefty price tags that most will never be able to afford. We take a look at some of the artworks, from old masters to contemporary works, that no one can deny are some of the most expensive in the world. Collecting fine art is an expensive habit. The world's most valuable paintings cost more than some luxury cars, boats, and houses. A masterpiece comes together as a result of a singular vision by an artist, combined with the painstaking effort that can take the span of several years. Art, at its very core, is priceless, but the works it produces have tremendous monetary value among collectors. These are 10 of the most expensive paintings ever sold. Stay tuned in this video, we will discuss the top 10 most expensive paintings ever sold so, make sure to watch this video to the end. Let's check it out. Number 10 Three Studies of Lucian Freud by Francis Bacon $142.4 million Irish-born painter Francis Bacon created this delightful triptych to honor fellow artist Lucian Freud, who was a friend and a professional rival. Freud, the grandson of the famous neurologist and psychoanalyst, met Bacon in 1945, and the two of them painted each other quite a few times. Bacon produces two triptychs of Freud, but the first has not been seen since 1992. The second, shown above, became the most expensive painting sold in 2013. Number 9 Portrait of Adele Block Bauer II by Gustav Klimt $150 million Symbolist painter Gustav Klimt was a prominent figure in Vienna's art world in the early 20th century and drew much of his influence from the style and methods of Japanese art. That influence is reflected in paintings such as the one above, which is the second of two portraits that he painted for his close friend and patron of the arts, Adele Blockbauer. Both paintings were among the artworks stolen during World War II, but were thankfully recovered. In 2006, the painting was bought for $88 million by Oprah Winfrey, who sold it to an unnamed buyer 10 years later for a cool $150 million. Number 8 The Masterpiece by Roy Lichtenstein $165 million Self-fulfilling prophecy or self-promotion? The aptly titled The Masterpiece is one of several works by pop artist Roy Lichtenstein who was part of an art movement that began in the 1950s and was characterized by vivid uses of color and a tongue-in-cheek sense of humor. The masterpiece, like several of his works, takes stylistic elements from comic books and strips, including bende dots and speech bubbles. In more recent years, this kind of art has been called into question, with the suggestion that it is all gloss and no substance, though many believe that there are several layers of meaning behind the work. Number 7 Pendant Portraits of Merton Sulmans and Ocean Coppet by Rembrandt $180 million In 1634, the Dutch master was commissioned to paint a portrait of a young couple on the occasion of their wedding. Both were part of the Amsterdam elite, and Ocean Coppet's hand in marriage was much sought after by many suitors in the city. These twin paintings are exceptional in that they are the only two examples of full-length portraits done by Rembrandt. While the state of the couple's marriage wasn't written about in the history books, their images have been inseparable since the day they were painted. They were bought as a joint project by the Louvre and the Rich Museum and remain together to this day. Number 6 Violet, Green and Red by Mark Rothko $186 million Certainly one of the more unusual paintings on this list, No. 6 was painted by Latvian-American artist Mark Rothko in 1951 and is composed entirely of large splashes of color, specifically violet, green, and red. That is typical of his oeuvre, however, who worked in the realm of abstract expressionism. The most notable aspect of this painting, however, is that it is one of the 36 artworks named in the Bouvier Affair, an infamous and ongoing legal battle between Russian billionaire Dmitry Rypolovlev and Swiss art dealer Ives Bouvier who is alleged to have defrauded his clients by overcharging them for the pieces they bought. Number 5 Number 17A by Jackson Pollock $200 million Painted by noted American abstract expressionist Jackson Pollock in 1948, Number 17A is one of the earlier works in his drip painting series. 
Like much of Pollock's work, the painting appears to be a haphazard series of squiggles and splashes on canvas and garnered mixed reviews at the time. A more careful examination of the piece reveals exactly how each color was applied and the high level of precision that went into it. If ever there were a visual representation of the method behind someone's madness, this would be it. Remember that astonishing 500 million USD Ken Griffin spent on two paintings from the collection of David Geffen? Well, the second painting, purchased for an equally impressive 200 million USD, was number 17 AB Abstract Expressionist great Jackson Pollock. Painted in 1948, this stunning drip painting features a variety of bold colors such as yellow, red, orange, and blue, along with some white and black splashed about. As with Interchange, visitors can also see this one in person at the Art Institute of Chicago. Number 4, Nafia Fat Apoipo by Paul Gauguin, $210 million. An influential figure in post-impressionism, French artist Paul Gauguin went largely unnoticed in his time, with his works only becoming popular after his death. In 1892, he went to Tahiti, one of many trips that he took to the island to get away from Europe and what he considered to be a life of artifice. Much of his work during that time depicted native women and landscape, and while some consider these pieces to be not as impressive as his previous works, they represent a simpler and more authentic way of life. Number 3. The Card Players by Paul Cezanne, $250 million Paul Cezanne laid the foundations for the shift from late 19th century Impressionism to newer and more experimental movements in the early 20th century, such as Cubism. One of his most famous series of works is The Card Players, consisting of five oil paintings done between 1890 and 1895. As the name suggests, the paintings depict groups of card players, with each painting altering the setting and other details. The first image, for example, has five players, but the number drops down to just two by the third painting. In 2011, the royal family of Qatar purchased one of the paintings for a price that broke the records of any previous artwork sold at auction. Number 2 Interchange by Willem de Kooning $300 million A Dutch immigrant who moved to the United States in his early 20s but didn't gain American citizenship until much later, Willem de Kooning was no stranger to the idea of transitions. He is one of the leading artistic figures of the 20th century, alongside fellow abstract expressionists such as Mark Rothko and Jackson Pollock. In 1955, when his life and his career were undergoing a transition, he painted Interchange. The piece is inspired by his surroundings in New York City and is one of his first landscape paintings. While it might seem like random splotches of color, like any good abstract piece, it requires a closer look to reveal the details within. In the fall of 2015, Ken Griffin, a billionaire hedge fund investor, procured two paintings from David Geffen, a successful business magnate who wears many hats, from producer to film studio executive, for a grand total of 500 million USD. One of the paintings was the 1955 painting by Willem de Kooning, Interchange. According to sources, the price of this one abstract expressionist painting was 300 million USD, and while many works with private buyers often go into private collections, not allowing the public access, Mr. Griffin, who sits on the board of trustees of the Art Institute of Chicago, has loaned interchange to the museum so that anyone who wants to see it is able to do so. Number 1 Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci – $450.3 million this is perhaps one of the most famous paintings in the world, in no small part because of its purchase by Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in 2017. It is one of the last works by Leonardo da Vinci and seamlessly ties together the physical world with the realms of religion and spirituality. It is believed that there are 20 copies of the painting in existence, with the original thought to have been lost sometime in the 17th century. One of the copies, purchased by a group of British art dealers for a mere $10,000, was painstakingly restored and discovered to be the original. Originally meant to be unveiled as part of the Louvre Abu Dhabi's collection in 2018, the piece is currently being held in storage until an unspecified date, which only adds to its intrigue. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more videos like this one. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.